Hey guys, it's Miss Julie. I hope you guys are enjoying our videos. Do you guys remember when we used to play with our sensory bins at school? Sometimes we had bubbles in our sensory bins, water with some cool water animals in there, some pom-poms, some rice, and sometimes some other cool stuff. Well, today we're gonna bring the sensory table to you guys. Today we're gonna be making some The materials we'll be needing for this activity are a tray, some baking soda, flour, measuring cups, baby oil or cooking oil, some vinegar. If you guys want to add a little bit of fun color to the mix, you guys can also add some paint or some shredded chalk. These other materials are optional. These are some of the materials I'm going to be using to play with in my sensory bin. I have cookie cutters here, some creepy crawlies here, some marbles, an egg, and some other cool stuff. Now let's get started. First thing you want to do is get two cups of flour. Now that we have our flour in here, we can get some baking soda. One cup of baking soda. And now we're going to get one fourth of our oil. And now comes the fun part. We're gonna get in there and we're gonna mix it with our hands. You guys can use a spoon. Mm, it smells like baby. Wow. It feels like sand, except it actually sticks together more. See? Use cookie cutters to play with it. I made a frog. You guys can also use it to play I Spy. I'm gonna put my creepy crawlies in here. Look at all these creepy crawlies and their friends. There's a red one, a yellow one, a green one, a blue one, and a black one. You can play I spy with this. Like this, look. I spy with my little eyes. A yellow grasshopper. There it is. Walk towards the end, friends, or whenever you guys are ready, you guys can get some vinegar in a spray bottle, or you can use a bowl and put some in the bowl and then use a spoon to scoop it. You guys remember when dinosaurs used to live next to the volcano? <laughs> this can also work as a volcano. I'm gonna make my volcano right here. You guys can also add a couple drops of color inside the volcano to make it more colorful. And watch what happens when I pour my vinegar onto my mountain. Now let's see how it feels. What feels so squishy? Now if you guys put the vinegar in there once it's done, it's gonna feel a little bit like Play-Doh, but that's okay. You guys can still play with it and squish it around. Just make sure, regardless if you put vinegar on it or not, you guys need to make sure you put it in an airtight jar or an airtight container so that it can last longer. Well, there you have it, friends. I hope you guys enjoyed this fun activity. Moonstone activity. Until next time. Bye.